Hello guys, welcome to this pencil 2D versus Blender Grease Pencil video or why should you choose Blender Grease Pencil? The short answer is that since both are free and open source, it makes sense to choose the best tool and it is Grease Pencil. But let's see first why someone would prefer to use Pencil 2D. The first reason is wanting to do hardcore time consuming frame per frame animation. It's an artistic choice just like people who like to draw masterpieces using Microsoft Paint. I have nothing to say against this. The second reason is that Pencil 2D is a simple easy to learn and to use tool for people who just want to make simple animations for fun. Well I can teach you to do most of what Pencil 2D can do and more in this short video. And while Pencil 2D is easy to understand, the animation process is tedious, boring and takes more time than needed to learn some advanced skills in Blender to do better animations in a shorter time. The third reason may be that Pencil 2D drawings are raster based while Grease Pencil is a vector tool. Well, you can still draw your backgrounds or even your characters in Pencil 2D and animate them in Blender, but you still can draw awesome stuff in Blender and the vector approach can actually be an advantage. So here we are in Blender, let's open a 2D animation file, download the brushes if you don't already and you will have all these brushes populated here. Let's go here to the object data properties and we change this layer's name to per person and this layer's name to BG for background and here we are inside our grease pencil objects in draw mode and you can see this pencil icon that represents it to access it you press ctrl tab and you can choose modes from here and we choose our background layer you could lock the other layers by going here auto lock inactive layers select this grass material here and we start drawing grass and then we can increase the burst size by doing F it's huge let's change it instead here to 1000 and draw more grass and then to 1500 pixels and we can draw bigger grass here now we can draw the sky so let's select this texture this blue one you see that we will draw in front of the grass and to draw behind the grass we click this button draw strokes on back let's also increase the burst size to maybe 1000 also and draw our sky don't worry about the sky being in front of the grass release the button and here we have our sky now let's add some stones this is a stone brush here or texture brush oh you see here we need to disable draw in back so Control z and then we disable this button and we create these rocks here now let's go to the person layer and we can draw a person so let's choose another brush a simple brush if you try to draw you get this because we are using one of the textures so we have to go here and choose solid stroke here so Control z Control z let's choose again solid stroke and draw a head and a body and then on and this note that you can go here in the materials panel and you can choose one of these materials and you can also create your own material by hitting the plus here and for your material you can have stroke fill only or both stroke and fill and you can choose a color from here for example if i go to solid stroke i can change the strokes color and the color of the guy will change and i also can by selecting one of these icons this one and use color attributes so here green and you can have colors independent from the color assigned to our material Control z let's select our fill tool select our solid fill and select a color here a skin color i guess let's go to the advanced menu here if you can see it use the wheel of your mouse here we have gap closure and we have this mode that is called extend so let's try it first we click on the head and then we use the wheel of the mouse and you can see these lines here you see that these two lines are parallel so there is another mode let's hit escape under advanced that is this one reduce so let's select it click here and again with the wheel and you see that we have the circles now when the circles are big enough to reach the extremities of this opening we have a blue line here that indicate that this gap will be filled left click here and no because it takes into account also the background so let's do Control z and go again under advanced and change the layers here from visible to active so this way only the active layer will be taken into account when filling gaps so again left click and then with the wheel of the mouse now we see only one one blue line and then left click again and voila but where is the mouth and where are the eyes again Control z and we change back to draw strokes on back and again left click another left click and voila let's do the same with the body so shift and middle mouse button to be able to move like this or you can use the hand here you click on the hand and drag or this tool here to zoom in and out also you can use the wheel of the mouse to zoom in and out now we will fill the body so let's choose purple color and click 
No, it didn't work. So we change the mode again from reduce to extend this time. Left click, this line here is filling this gap. So left click again and voila. Now let's create a very simple walk cycle for our guy. Control tab, go to edit mode. And now we can see all these strokes. Let's go to frame six here. And then we can select our arm here or one vertice of this arm. You see that it's composed of a lot of points here. When you select one vertex or one point, you hit L to select the whole of the arm. And now you can move it or rotate. It. So R to rotate it like this and then G on the keyboard to move it and then we select the other arm again L and R to move it like this G and you see that there is some onion skin in here for the previous frame and then we do the same with the legs so the first leg L R and then the other leg Let's also select the head and move it. So left click and drag to select the head and then L to select all the points of the head and then rotate a little bit and maybe move it a little bit here with the arrows on the keyboard left and right to go between frames and up and down to go between keyframes. And we can duplicate these two frames. So if we duplicate this one here, we can have a full loop. We can just keep duplicating the frames like this by selecting then shift D and duplicate. And we can also have some smoothness by creating an interplay. The interpolation will be very simple because we have the same lines and the just changed position. So we go between these two frames and we put the cursor here and we do control shift E and then between these two frames again control shift E and we have this. Now we can select all these frames here and duplicate shift D and then shift D again. Let's test it. Now what if you want your guy here to move like from the left to the right. So that can be done using rigging. Even moving the arms and legs can be done using rigging but we will keep it simple. So let's go to object mode this time. Control tab object mode. Shift A to add a new object and it will be an empty. The empty here you can choose one of these or even this one. Here's our empty. This guy we will use to move our guy here. So let's move it here. Then we select our grease pencil object again that you can see here. So here's the empty, here's the grease pencil object. And you can go again to object data properties and select your person layer and go under relations here and you choose a parent. And that will be our empty. So now since the empty is the parent of our layer, it can move the layer, it can resize it and rotate it, etc. This is something I think that can't be done using pencil 2D. You can't rotate your selections or anything. So here we are in free one while our empty is selected you can hit i on the keyboard and select location rotation and scale to be able to animate all these things here and then we will resize our empty with s so s on the keyboard and then g to move it here maybe then you can go to another frame like frame 30 resize again and with g move the guy here hit space and you have this animation to be able to see your keyframes you need to change here from grease pencil to top sheet and here you can see the object transforms of the empty and if you select your object you can also see the grease pencil keyframes that you created earlier so this is it very simple animation and there is an automatic easing it starts slow and then it goes faster and then it slows down again as it comes to the end you can change the interpolation mode here interpolation mode to linear this kind of animation is very hard to do in pencil 2d you need to do it frame per frame and resize your object and also move it and make it come closer and it won't be as perfect as this now we are in a new file and we will import some images since this is something also that you can do with pencil 2d you go to import images as planes we select these four images that we made with pencil 2d and then we choose here shadeless so that they are not affected by light and make sure that use alpha is selected so that we have some transparency import images as planes let's bring the sky image to the center so g and then x to move it just on the x axis here and then resize it with s and then you can use your middle mouse button to go outside like this and move in 3d space with our sky selected hit g y and move it on the y axis and move it back like this now to camera view again by hitting zero we can select our mountains here also bring them to the center and resize them s and then again with the middle mouse button g y and move it like this we move the car a little bit forward so that it's in front of the road just a little bit so g y and back to camera view and we can move our road here and resize it move again with g again middle mouse button and let's make more space between them so g y like this and like this again to camera view resize again set our sky s now we just resize our car s like this and voila and now we can do an animation of the car going from the right to the left we don't need any empty here we just move the car so g 
X and move it here outside the camera view. I on the keyboard and choose, we can choose just location. And then you can go to like frame maybe 30. Let's end the animation in frame 30. Move this guy, G, X and move it here. And then play and we have this animation. Again, you see that we have some ease in. So let's go to the dub sheet and select these two frames here and then right click and choose linear. And now we have this better animation. The last thing we'll talk about is the camera. So you can move the camera inside Paint 2D, but here you can do even more. You can, for example, rotate the camera with R and you can, of course, move it with G. And since we have these three axes, you can move it only on the Y axis if you hit G and then Y. And this will give you this effect of zoom in. And you see also that we have this parallax effect since we change the position of our layers in 3D space. So let's go again to frame one. You can hit shift left arrow on the keyboard then with the camera selected we can add i on the keyboard and just location let's zoom in g y and zoom it like this and then g and just move it to the right and in frame maybe 25 let's hit g x and move the camera to the other side and we have these two frames so now if we animate and see that we have this parallax effect so this is another effect that is very hard to achieve in pencil 2d because you will have to move the car frame per frame and not this smooth but if you want a jittery animation like a car bumping you can do that also and very easily so we select our car layer and then we go here on this icon we choose graph editor and we have here x location z location and y location for the car movements so the z is the one up and down and we want the car to go up and down while selecting this you go here modifiers and you select a modifier it's the noise modifier and we have this line here going up and down so now if we play it we have this and you can play with the scale and the strange etc and make the bumpiness more or less so this is it what you can do in pencil 2d versus what you can do in grease pencil and blender and how you do it you see that everything is faster and everything is smoother if you have any questions anything that maybe i missed anything that you want to learn about please leave a comment also i have a lot of videos about rigging about animation about drawing with grease pencil i will leave you some links in the comments section Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Peace!